here we are looking at number six and we have a rational expression, if you will, or a fraction or a division problem, whatever you would like to call it. And a little grainy, but it is x to the fourth power divided by over x to the seventh power. Some people prefer to deal with the product rule or product property where they would bring x to the seventh up, make it a negative power. So it would be x to the four times x to the negative seven, add those two numbers. So four plus negative seven, also known as four minus seven, get four to the negative third, rewrite it as, I'm not four to the negative third, x to the negative third, and then rewrite it as one over x to the third. So that's your answer. I think that's a little ridiculous. So instead, I would just, well, more or less right off the bat, you know, you could just know the answer is one over x to the third, but breaking it down a little bit, x to the fourth power, well, that means x times itself four times, and x to the seventh, you guessed it, x times itself seven times. Four of the x's in the numerator go to battle with four of the x's on the bottom. They can only battle their own kind and they just knock each other out. And who's left standing? Well, obviously the invisible one in the numerator. That doesn't move when an x or a variable has a negative power, keep that in mind, that the one, two, seven coefficient, I don't care if it's positive, I don't care if it's negative. The coefficient does not move when you're moving a base to a power and dealing with the positive or negative exponent switcheroo, you know? So that one on top is still there and there was a one on bottom as well and that's also still there. Neither of those moved. They're good where they are. So what does that leave us with? Well, you can't leave nothing on top and it isn't nothing on top, it's a one. And then on bottom, we certainly don't need that one. It's just x to the third power and the more quick and less chaotic looking way to do this problem is I just say to myself, x to the fourth on top, x to the seventh on bottom. If it's a tug of war, who's bigger, stronger, who's gonna win? x to the seventh is gonna win. So it's gonna pull my answer down to the bottom and we're just going to subtract seven, take away four, we're left with three. So we have one over x to the third. Hope you were able to crush it <laughs> really quickly. I hope that was not brain surgery for you. Next example should be linked on the screen, playlist as well. Good luck with your other examples.